tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, not fight. striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. So there it is, taller fighter landing underneath the body. Oh, 
a huge block there. Lee's circling to his right. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Liver kick. Hands high, hands high. Slips. Just over three minutes to go. by the defense. Leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. That's a big strike right there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he caught the kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Whoa! That's how you finish a fight. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to change that finish, John. Big body kick. He blocks the shot. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, wow! Head kick. Oh. Back to the feet. 20 seconds to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Final seconds here. And he lands the knee to the body now. Five minutes in the books. Great job last round. He's had him hurt almost finished. They put him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. Put the pressure on. Get right in his face. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. the leg kick. Let's go. Get off 
Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, crippling knee to the body. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. It's a beautiful strike. He loaded up there on that high kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. That was a thudding leg kick. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just out of range with that right hand. Big leg kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Out of range with that kick attempt. Right hand upstairs. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, He's man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Changes his stance. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, that's a nice strike. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Landed a big kick there. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Well, right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. 
he's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, not only is he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Effective punch there by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Timed and place kick there by Lee. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He did, he's hurt bad. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice defense there, huge block. Should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Slips that left hand. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Big punch lands through the middle. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Right punches there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! He's a drunk. He's hurt bad. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Lee gets caught with that punch. All right, so he's doing a nice job here controlling the center of the octagon, keeping his opponent on the outside. Oh, I love it, John. I love it. And watch how his foot looks like a compass. His lead leg 
will always point in the direction that he wants to go as he tries to cut off his opponent. It is unbelievable to watch, and it's so great to watch a man with knowledge of the octagon control as this young gentleman is showing. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Nice leg kick land. Just misses with that one. How good is that right hand? And he caught the kick. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice punch there by Lee. Real sneaky body kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his students certainly followed up on that character. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Oh, nice. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Three minutes. <laughs> Just unable to quite find that range. Now connects with a right. Kick lands. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's able to slip the left. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Nice head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice, nice right here. was heavy. Oh, straight right. And a knee. Man, look at
look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Good punch. What a body kick. How about that chin? Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Thirty seconds to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Final seconds here. Oh, nice. Nice. There's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. See if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his head off the center line and then rips back. Try to establish that jab. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. He got him! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 33 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt. And